Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Congress, where today you're probably asking, hey, did you get a new mic? I got a new mic. <laughs> new year, new mic. That's just how we roll around here. Hopefully it sounds better. I think it does. At least it does in post. So hopefully I can get that tuned in and actually get it to sound good. Anyway, what are we doing today? I think I'm just going to go down here to the South Pole and just start clearing out some things. I don't really know exactly what I want to do, so I'm probably just gonna start launching and then figure it out as I go. You know what, why don't we take two or three of the bases over here? We got a medium, a medium base, a high threat waves, and a high threat base. You know what, let's just go get 30 first. Oh, right, um, everyone keeps asking in the comments that I keep forgetting about simulation cores. Well, first off, you're right. But second off, I'm doing that on purpose because I've got a plan for a video that has to do with simulation cores coming up. So just stay tuned for that. Don't worry, I'm not forgetting. I'm doing this on purpose, kind of. Oh yeah, I saw another comment that asked how I sync my launch pads up. This is how I do it. I wait for them all to fill up and I always have them turned off until I need to launch them. So they're all on the same cooldown. And I make sure that I turn the export hub off before I leave the sector because that also could desync it. There really is no purpose to keeping them all synced, but it looks really cool when you do, so that's the only reason I do it. All right, now that my export hub is completely refilled, let's go grab 30. I'm gonna take this core, I think, because we might as well, and uh, that's it, let's go. Now hang on just a minute, potential contender for a really good sector. Ooh, yo, okay, this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be ranking pretty high, I can already say. Let's take a look at it first before we get our exports. We got water, a lot of it, right by the core. Decent sized ore veins, cause that's pretty good. We got a lot of oil, got a lot of you, we got more water, we got some ice. I think that's scrap, that's pretty good. And we also got spores. Again though, no thermal. Where's the thermal? <laughs> Pretty good sector, probably mid nines. Anyway, let's get exports. And there we go, exports have been acquired. All right, so since I have no idea what to do, I went and got and checked the comments of the last video real quick, and I saw someone recommend that I take out a high level base with only the mono tree. All right, so let's look at the mono tree real quick. So we got mono, obviously. They only mine, they don't have any weapon capabilities. We've got the polys. They can shoot, but I don't think they're gonna hold up to the high level defenses of this sector. This is a high threat, I believe. We got mega. I think I've destroyed a core with mega before, but they're not the greatest at combat. And we've got the tier five, which is an oct, which does not shoot at all. But of course I could just like fill this thing up with spores or something and just drop it straight on the core. I don't even know if that works anymore. I'm not a professional PVP or speaking of professional PVP though, we've got quad. Now I've heard Quad is like the best unit for PvP, at least of the tier fours, because you just spam them and then go quad bomb somebody. So that's what we're gonna try. Looks like they have a crawler factory, which reminds me I need to go look at their base. Um, we got surge walls and not phase walls, which is a bit interesting. We got, that's a Nova factory. Does that even work? Looks like pretty standard setups over here. Nothing too crazy. There's the crawler factory right there. Absolute garbage power schematics. And there's the core with two specters and there's a second core with two more specters and now for power i want to do something a bit different this time because i've been doing impact reactors for the past seven eight nine times so we're gonna we're gonna go back to the classics today and here's what i mean by the classics of course this is just a start i need to get some units in order to build a higher level power production area so let's do that real quick we can only use the mono tree but good thing for me monos are great so we're gonna get everything Dude, what is my force field doing? Bear. Anyways, we have polys now. Let's get these on help me mode. Let's put this also on help me mode and let's get a power factory going the right way. I think that'll do. And I also took the courtesy of moving the overdrive dome down here. So we're going to get a lot of power. That's pretty good, 51K. I think I've gotten I've gotten a lot less from impact reactors, which is kind of strange. But anyways, this drill is working flat out at the moment. I think it's gonna get bottlenecked though, because these only take, uh, what is it? One every 14 seconds. And there's probably like maybe 50 of these. Oh, I just deleted, that was stupid. Why'd I do that? Oh my God, hold on. Emergency Spectre. 
Perfect. You know what? I haven't used Meltdown very much. Now, Meltdown, they're kind of not the greatest. 936 damage a second, but eh, they're just kind of outclassed by everything else, which is a bit, you know, it's a bit sad because they're a really cool turret. What we can also do is make a funnel. Oh, I didn't see those coming. I did not think those would be here. Is not an issue for us, obviously, but they might just decide to fly. Oh my God, we lit the oil pit on fire. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, that's just gonna burn forever. Fire brigade, hold on, hold on. Let's go, we put out the oil pit. So now hopefully everything gets funneled into here, it gets eaten by the meltdown, and we'll never have to worry about it again. Let's get some actual units going. You know, I realize I built a door and I'm building air units. <laughs> Let's get this set up up here to get the next tier of units, aka the things I'm actually going to be using, aka the things that I need to move everything over by a single tile because I can't fit it in. Once the monos are done being built, then we can change the direction of this and start building these. Anyways, I'm going to need some more unloaders. This one literally can't even be unloaded. Dude, am I stupid? Where is our silicon? Where is it going? Oh, I know where it's going. Going into unit production. Let's set the polys on repair, because I don't need them. And let's set these guys on assist player. Anyways, I think I'm going to make like 10 of these. And I can also repurpose this factory once it's done to make another one of these. Although I don't know where I'm going to put it, because I kind of kind of box myself in here. Actually, let's get that prepared now. Now, the next issue is going to be resources, but that can be done. And mass drivers. Now, speaking of mass drivers... Yes, I've seen the challenge. Yes, I'm going to do it. But that's going to be very hard. Because that I mean, it's going to take a lot of attempts. Because I guarantee you, I'm going to fail the challenge because I wasn't paying attention. Because these things, how much damage do they do? We need to test this. Apparently they do like five damage or something. At least that's what I've heard. Or that's what I read comments for. A dagger, mind you, has 150 health. So I'm going to have to set up like a huge chain of these. And of course the polys are going to shoot at them and that's going to ruin things. So I, I just need to be really careful. I need to have a lot of time to get that set up. Okay, how's our meltdown doing? I haven't checked on it in a while. Looks like it's doing just fine because there's literally no change up there. Should I make 24 of these? I feel like we kind of have to now. We're already at the point where we're making so many. You know, it's been a really long time since I built this blueprint. Boom. Extra silicon. Doesn't even make a dent, dude. Doesn't even make a dent. Oh my god. One more and then I don't have to deal with this. 24 quad. Uh, where should we put them? Yeah, right there's good. Yeah, this does work very well. Yeah, you just kind of send them over. Like, you don't even have to have them sit there. You just kind of, you know, send them that way. Like, like watch this, watch this. I'm going to send them straight this way, and they're just going to fly over this and blow it up. Literally everything is gone. Dude, these are crazy. Well, yeah, no wonder everyone rushes these in PvP, because they're great. What? Well, we cleared out this entire area. So let's go down here and get this whole area gone. I'm going to send them from here to here. They're going to go in this line, and we're going to see all the destruction they can cause. Yep, literally just a line of death. There's nothing left. Look at all the scatters.
to go over the plan. So I'm thinking... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to send them right here. And then we send them straight up. And we're just going to fly right over the core. And we're going to see how many survive. Because most of them are pretty low already. Pretty sure we'll be able to take this out. I mean, I could run a power node over here and heal them up. Should I do that? Yeah, let's do it. That'd be fun. Yep. There we go. You know, these new tier 2... I guess they're, re they're really not new anymore, are they? The tier 2 healer thingies are just the best. All right, we're all healed up. Let's do this. Now, where is the correct position? Right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Uh. Yo, I didn't know you could do that. Map, right click. Boom. Free cam. Okay, so they're in position. Okay, let's send them right there. Wow, that was effective. I now fully understand why the PvP players use it. Okay, well now I don't know what to do. I figured out what I'm going to do. We decided on Sector 133, because it's medium base, and I figured, you know what? I've used quads this entire video. I might as well continue. So this time, I'm going to try to destroy this core as fast as possible using the quads, which I would assume is the fastest way to do it anyway. So anyways, I made this really janky core schematic here that should hopefully make tier 4 units relatively quickly. All I need to do is then launch over with this core. The second we land, we'll start a timer, and then we will see how fast we can take this down. But let's do this. All right, we're going to start the timer the second we land, and let me actually bring a little bit of resources with me immediately. I just had a thought. Do I even want to get the expert hub set up for this? I don't think I'm going to need it. Let's just bring the resources we need. All right, it looks like we can finally launch now. Good grief. All right, we're going to start the timer the second we land, and hopefully I can do this in under five minutes, although I doubt it, because I'll probably forget to do something, specifically the cryofluid, because if you can see up there, I ran out of space, so I'm going to have to plug in some water. Let's do this. Timer started already. Oh my god. Um, okay, sector review. Looks pretty good. Nice. Okay. Um, let's get water. Uh, 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 Jesus. Oh, I'm running out of timer. Wait, no, we don't need to do that yet. We need power first. I also didn't have power because I ran out of... Uh... Ran out of space. Yep, let's get that down. Thorium only. I didn't bring face fabric. I didn't bring face fabric. I didn't bring face fabric. Am I stupid? Come on, come on, come on. Give me face fabric. Time is taken down already. Bro, launch. Launch. That's enough. I don't really care. Okay. Um, well, that's a big time hit, and I'm stupid for that, so nice one. Anyways, hopefully now we have enough things. Oh, and that's also going to eat phase fabric as well. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, cancel those. Build this. Build that. I don't think this is going to be enough. I'm going to have to build some more, but that's okay. Is it enough? It's enough. Never mind. We're not building anymore. Bam. Okay. Now water. Um. Oh, dude. This is not looking good for me already. Hopefully... Okay, let's just get my drone to build all this garbage first, and then we can do like this. There we go. And then plug everything in. Like that. We definitely don't have enough power now, so let's get that. Okay, we don't need you anymore either. Because we're not going to build that many of these. Oh, I'm so dumb. I can't even do that. Aw. Well, how am I going to get what? Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. Just do it the hard way. Fine. 
But mm, it's really annoying the orientation of this because I cannot get water into half of these now. Which is really not not good at all, because I literally planned it to go this way. I can only get water to I can only get cry out of three of these. Fine, I'll just chop the other ones out. Fine. Have it your way. Why is there water in there? How did water even get in there? Oh my god. Like that, bam. Is that all cryofluid? Yep. Okay, we're making cryofluid. Not a lot, though. Why are... What? That one can't even... Oh my god. There we go. Okay, let's get two more down here, I guess. Ugh. Dude, this time, I am counting pause time too because uh, it would be really annoying to not do so. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay, there we go. That should work. We need more of these now. Boom. Hopefully I'm not going to run into face fabric before my overdrive dome runs out of juice. That would suck. Might happen, though. This should kick us over. Yep, and then we can add a battery like this, and then that will definitely kick us over. Okay. There we go. Oh, I haven't even looked at the core, but I literally don't care, because I'm just going to grab in this guy and fly straight over there and see if I can bomb it. No time to waste. Come on. Boom. Okay, we're going. Oh, pause time, pause time, pause time. Why am I pausing time? It's so stupid. Where's the core? There it is. Boom. Um, is that a, is that even a core? Yep, that's a core. Is there any more? Nope. Okay. So then any other units that spawn out of that factory will go straight down as well. And we're almost out of titanium. So hopefully this one guy is enough. I've taken no damage. I'm not even, I'm not even phased. Okay, I think I did in fact make the less than five minutes mark. That was quick, and now I completely understand why people use quads for PvP, because they have an absurd amount of health for how early you can get them. The only thing, the only hard part I guess there is going to be the plastanium, because plastanium is just annoying to get in general. But wow, that was fast. Well, you know what? I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I now know how to uh, quad bomb, which will be helpful in the future. I'll leave that up for you guys to decipher. Anyways, that's all for me today. I am going to go look at the quads that I left in Sector 30 because uh, they're pretty neat to look at. Goodbye.